Hi music colleagues. Today we're going to look at the which one activity with the melodic content. So it will look like flashcards on the board and you've revised your melodic content. So today we're going to be using Do Re Mi. I would first of all get the students to echo me. Do Re Mi Re Do etc. And then we can read. So we're going to read each pattern. Do, do, re, mi, do. And you might like to sing a couple of them first and they respond and then they can sight read the other two. They will then show their learning. This is the most amazing work from Dylan William, which is formative assessment, where the students show their learning. The students will listen and the teacher will sing just on a vowel. Do, 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 do. And again. Do, 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 do. The students will orally derive which pattern it was and they're going to show their answer so that we have every student in the class engaged. Was it one, two, three, or four? Now, before they show their answer, this beautiful work from Dylan Williams, formative assessment, is important so that the teacher knows what the students can hear. To embed it in your classroom culture is so valuable, but you also need to develop the growth mindset so that students don't mind making a mistake. It doesn't matter if they said three when it was two because it's an opportunity to learn. And that whole discovery of, okay, I'm going to authentically show my learning. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to show my learning before I can see someone else and see what they've got. When the students are more comfortable, you don't need to do that because they are fine because sometimes you'll find the one student that stuck to their guns and said, okay, it was one and everyone else is showing three, they could potentially be right. So that's a time for celebration. The important next step is to do the let's check. So the teacher might say, I can see ones and twos. So let's check one, mm, ready? And the teacher will sing, lo, lo, and the children will sing solfa with their hand signs and see if it matches. Obviously, the teacher's voice needs to be quite loud, but the children need to sing gently so that they can hear whether they match or not. So the teacher will sing, lo, 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 lo. Did it match? If they're not in agreement, you can then um, sing it again. Let's check number two. Lo, 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 lo. And hopefully most students would have um, realized that that was the one the teacher was singing. So this is an amazing tool in your teaching that develops melodic understanding and the incredible tool of growth mindset where I'm going to have a go, I'm going to make mistakes, and I'm going to learn from my mistakes. That is, after all, the most valuable lifelong lesson, isn't it? The flashcards we're using today are the Solfa Set 3, which has the pentatonic tone set, great for the beginners who are a bit older. So from year three up, and you can take out Do Re Mi, Do Re Mi So, Do Re Mi So La, and then High Do. The content is on the back and you'll find that on our website. So I hope that's been a good tip. Happy teaching.